Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Kelsey and today I am so excited to share next year's math curriculum. So it has been a minute since I have been here on YouTube. If you are new, I'm so glad you're here. Make sure to hit that subscribe button because I am going to be sharing the rest of our curriculum picks over the next couple of weeks. So today's video is in collaboration with Davine from Calm in the Chaos Homeschool as well as Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool. And I will leave a link down below so you can check out all of those other videos. So this video may be a little <laughs> surprising, shocking, confusing. Um, if you have been on my channel for a little while, um, because I have not given an update on math. So we have my eight year old, he's eight year old, he's eight years old now. He is finishing up second grade and he has been working on math with confidence over the last couple of years. Um, he started out with BJU math. Um, and before that he did another random math that we don't need to get into um but then my older son he kind of jumped around through math curriculums and we stuck with bju for several years and this year he wanted to try something a little bit different so we tried apology of five which was a brand new curriculum to us thought level five was completely brand new when it came out and um i'm not going to go into all of that here but long story short he ended up not sticking with that for very long. So the curriculum that we are going to be using for my upcoming seventh grader, technically he's a seventh grader. He just turned 12 in March. So this is kind of his seventh grade year, but when it comes to math, he is um, a little bit behind in that subject. Um, something that we have been doing since January is CTC math. So CTC math is an online math curriculum that is for ages kindergarten through 12th grade. It's done all online. It has video lessons and then they can complete the questions. Um, it does all the grading. I can do a video a little bit more in depth on CTC math for you guys if you would like, but if not, check out my friend Sarah. Her channel has everything about CTC math, which is super, super helpful. She actually helped me narrow down CTC math, and so I think we're going to stick with that. Um, we He is about, I would say... I don't know, maybe a fourth of the way through the fifth grade. We ended up sticking really close to math facts that stick at the beginning of the year, which was, is by um, Kate Snow, who does math with confidence. So he did the multiplication and division facts that stick for the beginning of the year. We did Apologia for probably a month or so. Um, and then we started with CTC math. So he has been doing CTC math for about four months now and he really enjoys it. And so we're just gonna continue on with that, I think. And so he still needs to finish up fifth grade. I think he's on track to finish September, October, just depends. Um, so then we're just gonna move right along to sixth grade math. So when it comes to my second grader, he is going into third grade math. He's eight years old, just turned eight in January. And he is going to be doing BJU math. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know I love BJU math. You know that I have nothing but great things to say about BJU math. It was a godsend for my oldest. And so I know a lot of you are going to be so surprised because I do love math with confidence, but I have to be totally honest and just say that it became a daily struggle getting him to do his math work. And I don't, I don't know if it's just the age. I feel like seven, eight, nine year olds, it's a struggle y'all to homeschool that age group. I remember my eldest was that way as well. And I see things in the homeschool, you know, Facebook groups and forums and things like that all the time. Like my eight year old doesn't want to do school and all of these things. So I don't know if it's the age, I don't know if it's the curriculum, I don't know, but at the end of the day, this year, I need something that I can put on autopilot. I need something that I don't have to sit and do a whole lesson and do a game and do this and do that. Um, I just need something that I can say, here's your math, go do your math. And if I need to, you know, give a little bit of an explanation or things like that, usually with BJU math, I only have to give 
you know, kind of point out the top of the worksheet page, which tells you exactly what to do. And we kind of go over that a little bit. Um, but it takes five minutes or so instead of 15, 20 minutes to do a whole lesson. Now, again, I do love math with confidence. I'm not saying that we're done with math with confidence forever, but I need something to put on autopilot this year. And I think that BJU math is going to do the trick. I've already taught, you know, this third grade level. So I know what to expect. You know, I know about how long it should take every day. I know I, there's going to be no surprises for me. And I think that Math with Confidence have given him a wonderful foundation. His mental math has done fairly well. Um, my mental math has gotten <laughs> super great. So very thankful for Math with Confidence. Um, we also, since we did it with my eldest, we still have the multiplication facts that stick, which I know third grade is very heavy in multiplication. So I think that, you know, maybe over Christmas break or summer break or things like that, um, we can start to incorporate some of the games from Math With Confidence without having to do the entire curriculum. So I just ordered BJU Math grade three. I'm actually using the newer um, workbook compared to the one that we did before because I used to get the teacher's manuals um, used on eBay. So I use the older workbooks, but this time I went with the newer workbook because I think I got rid of all of my other ones because I literally just used them um, for an answer key. So I think I got rid of those. So I just am using the new workbook and that is pretty much it when it comes to math not a whole lot going on i know it might be a little bit surprising i will be doing a sit down video with reflections um for the end of the year so make sure you're subscribed to stay tuned to that i just i feel like giving an update at six weeks and mid-year i just feel like i'm all over the place but by the end of the year I can say, okay, this is where we started, this is what happened, this is where we finished, and I don't seem so flaky. I feel like sometimes people will comment on my videos and say, I thought you were doing this, what happened with this, what happened with that? And it's just like, I got a lot going on, you know? So um, I think it'll just be better if I can sit down at the end of the year and fully explain kind of where my head was at, what happened, how did everything go, all of that kind of stuff. So. Make sure you check out that playlist down below. I will link down all of the products that I included in this video. Let me know down in the comments what math curriculum and what age or grade level that you are teaching next year for math. And also let me know whose channel you came from or let the other ladies know that I sent you. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.